What's up, guys? Dark Valley here. Playing Today we're playing Kerbal Space Program, and I have an idea for an interesting experiment. <laughs> I feel very devious. Now, I've only played this game for like half an hour, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of feeling around here in Sandbox. I've really only gone through and done some of the training scenarios, and I've built one failed spacecraft, which will appear in the next episode of Strange Experiments. For right now, we're going to try to build a hot air balloon. Can you build a hot air balloon? This game simulates all kinds of aerodynamics, space flight, and that kind of stuff. Does it, sim it simulates air pressure and, and wind resistance? Let's start with the command pod here. Um, I have an idea. I already kind of have this built in my head. I want to see if this works. Yeah, we're going to put the command pod inverted. Let's just place this down. My idea here is, will the heat from an engine inflate a parachute acting as a hot air balloon? I don't think so. I think it's going to be a horrible failure, and some curveball may die, but we're going to try. So we've got the command pod. We need to find... Um, can we put the parachute on upside down? What I want to do is, I already have in mind to create a very safe abort procedure, and that's what this parachute's for. This is not the parachute for the hot air balloons, but that there, yeah. Um, and we'll get into the... I'm going to have an abort procedure. Hopefully, no curveball will die. i got to build an inverted spacecraft mounted on, you know, a prograde spacecraft, you know, engines to get it up in the air. I guess we'll need a... I guess we should put the coupling here. Try, that is way too small. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh, darn it. Where's the right... There we go. I think that'll fit. We just want to... Of course, we're doing this upside down, so we need to... Let's invert the coupler. Okay. So here's our abort. Um, it's going to hopefully break everything else off. And we'll get to that, except for the pod, to save the poor little curveball. We don't want the pilot to die. Because this is most likely going to... Yeah. Okay, so now we need... Perfectly like the smallest engine we can. To put just enough flame to... Yeah, first we need a fuel tank. Uh, just enough flame to heat the air... We're putting a kind of, we're putting a, like, what is this, like a medium-sized tank for this size? We'll just run it really low thrust, though. But I want enough, I mean, if this does work, I want I want enough uh, gas in the tank, so to speak, to, to get us going. Let's put the smallest engine we can on. What about this guy? Well, the, oh, wow, that's way smaller than I thought it was. What about this little guy here? This might work. There we go, okay. So this is going to be our little engine that... That heats up the air. Although more than likely, um, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, wanna, I just want to take you on the ride with me with this strange experiment as we start building an upside-down spacecraft. We need a buffer between that and we need to mount a parachute over that. And we need some kind of buffer. Some kind of, oh, maybe one of these structural things here will work. Oh, oh, this one's going to work. Okay, okay. So hopefully this will provide us a mounting point for the parachute. Okay, so I'll put a little fairing there over the engine. The engine should fire up through that. I mean, right? Okay, this might just... I don't know. I'm getting my hopes up. Now, the question is, can we mount a parachute on top of that? <laughs> Parachutes on both sides of the craft. Because if we can't... Yeah, there we go. Make it a little longer. That's a little better. Um, <laughs> if we can't mount a parachute on this... Oh, my God, we can. <laughs> okay. So here is our proposed hot air balloon. Now the, the problem is we have to get it. We have to get it, this up in the air. Is our uh, I think here we have to get this up in the air now. So here is where I haven't really thought this through too well. I guess we're gonna need some couplings and couple some. Well, we got that much thrust. We got that much weight. So I figure maybe two of those. Maybe what? What if we just take two of those? Okay, let's try this. Let's try two of those. That should get it up in the air, because it's like almost twice as much mass as we have here. I mean, it makes sense to me. Um, three of them? Okay, well, let's... Let's try three of them. Um, this is sure to get us up. Yeah, three of these is sure to get us up. I just want to make sure. Because all we got to do is... I mean, it doesn't really matter. We just, we just got to get, get... We just got to get up in the air. Okay, what engine... Wait, fuel tank first. Okay. What fuel, this fuel tank right here. So these are actually getting mounted up right now. The fun part of getting them mounted to the couplings. Okay, there. That looks good. There we go. Okay, okay. All right. Oh wow, this is the most ridiculous thing ever built. The poor little pilot's gonna be hanging, like dangling upside down in this thing as it goes up in the air. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll just use the same engine. Uh, let's see, fuel tanks. No, we want engines. There we go. Okay. 
I guess let's just use the same engine. Doesn't really matter, I guess. These are just going to go full thrust just to get it up off the ground. So there we got three of the same engine pointing down. I would think that'd be enough to get this off the ground. Wait a second. It can't sit on the pad like that, though. We need to make these longer. I guess we could double up on the fuel tanks. I need something for it to sit on. And I will... There's probably a lot of obvious solutions, but I'm very new to this game. And I started off playing the game by experimenting, which is probably the right way, because from what I understand... Let's just double up these fuel tanks. From what I understand... This game is pretty much trial and error anyway, so let's just start off with the error and see what happens. Or maybe this will work. Hey, I'm hopeful this could work. Alright, now it should sit on the pad. We have everything here we want. We're going to have to have a look at the stages and order everything. And I do want to put in an abort procedure. Something to keep the little curveball astronaut safe. But everything else looks to be in order. The engine should fire up through there. That's assuming the engine can fire through the bottom of the parachute without tearing everything apart. I don't really know what's going to happen. Of course I don't. Um, okay, so let's set up an abort procedure. Okay, I'm very new to this game. Wait, first let's 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 organize our stages. Okay, so let's go ahead. I think I still got to, yeah, I definitely got to work on the um, stages over there, but I can go ahead and do the abort. So what's going to happen in the abort is we're going to break these off. We're going to decouple. Actually, first let's shut these engines down yeah let's shut these engines down so step one is shut down engine step two is going to be break all of that off this is just to save the life of the little curveball so he doesn't die or she he or she all right so that should break all that off and then we need to lastly break this off decouple so that should be our abort procedure set and um we'll just go ahead and uh deploy shoot so that automatically deploys okay so that action group is set. I think we're good to go. Oh wait, no. I think my stages aren't set right. That's okay, we have an abort procedure. I think I have my stages set wrong. I just looked at them. I think that's the uh, that's the wrong parachute. Well, let's see what happens. You know, I just realized actually is this thing needs a couple more parts. I decided I actually want, let's go aerodynamics. There. Um, let's see. Yeah, aerodynamics. Let's add some cones on top of these things and at least make it uh, aerodynamic, I guess. Oh, I didn't have symmetry on. Oh, crap. Okay. So let's just put a couple more on here. All right. And let's hope everything else is good. Fins. We should have, like, fins on this of some kind. These look kind of weird. I'm not sure these are the ones I want. I'm just trying to get this straight up in the air as possible. So let's go ahead, yeah, let's correct the angle on this guy. There we go. We're just trying to get it straight up in the air. And I may have to have a look at a couple things here. We may have a few uh, failed tests. You know, again, if anything I hear about this game is true, we're going to have a few failed tests. Let's take it to the launch, and I'll probably find something in my stages is wrong. But we have a safe way to bring our Kerbal home. Uh, Valentina Kerman is our pilot today. Thank you for being our test pilot in this crazy hot air balloon. And, okay, full throttle. And it's not even, it's not enough thrust. How's that not enough thrust? We have, okay, well, yep. <laughs> the abort seems to have worked. She's still alive. Um, she's luckily still alive. Um, even though our spacecraft broke into all its Super components. Yeah, she's still alive there in the cockpit. Valentina's happy. <laughs> okay, so we need more thrust. Dang it. All right, back to vehicle assembly. All right, more thrust. I guess we just, what, bigger engines maybe? Let's try bigger engines. More power. There we go. That's a bigger, is that too big? Let's find out. Holy jeez, uh, that's, that's big. Oh, wait, here we go. Yeah, th this will work. This will work. The Terrier. Uh, I, I used this in the training scenario. This will work. This has got to get us off the ground. we got three engines which are more power. We're just trying to lift a command pod and a fuel tank, basically. is all we're trying to lift off the ground. We are kind of trying to go straight up. Let's go to lunch and see. Okay. Strange experiments. Hot air balloon. Test number two. Uh, uh, Valentina's back with us. She looks excited to go and... Not enough thrust. 
we're putting out you can see we're putting out more thrust still not enough I don't know how to read all these gauges so but I, what I can tell is I don't know how to read all these gauges but I can see however that we are getting no thrust well I guess there's one obvious choice and that's to go with boosters just to get us off the ground we'll just go with the, some SRBs right uh, we got the the matter of these fins yeah let's take these fins off okay now we can put the uh, there we go there we go wait are these centered I think those are centered okay so we'll just put some basic SRBs on here now here's it here's always the fun part trying to get these things to friggin line up we'll get them lined up there that looks good just make sure they're on the couple are they on the cup the, cu the couplers is the question we're gonna have to reorder the stages obviously and go over back over through everything here pre-flight tests but I think we're about where we need to be okay I think we got the stages set so let's go ahead and cap these guys off are we good to go now <clears throat> I think we're good to go I think I have all the stages set where they need to be but we won't know to, for a few more test flights but we've already confirmed we do have a safe abort procedure again we're trying to build a hot air balloon the whole goal of all of this crap is just to get this thing up in the air. Okay, fins on this. We already knew the fin. I got the fin thing down. I just want it to go straight up. All right, we're going back to the pad. Wow, what a funny, what a weird looking spacecraft. But yeah, uh, oh, let's see. All right, we're back with Valentina. She's ready to uh, test pilot this, actually. All right, here we go. Oh, all right. Hot air balloon or bust. Test number three. Let's get some altitudes. Altitude. Uh, what's going on? My stages aren't working right. Uh, why am I? And okay, abort, abort, abort. Oh my god. Oh my god. She survived. Look at her. <laughs> Look how excited she is. All right. Um, that's why I had the abort. And uh, what was my something was wrong with my stages? But luckily, I, ha I had safety measures to pull Valentina out of it. Um as we parachute safely back to ground. Wait, she's still upside down. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> let's, let's rotate back up. You know what? I probably don't even need that. Let's just turn the... Oh, whoa! <laughs> that is cool. Well, I found something I can do successfully. That's okay. Test number four will, uh, will have more success, I promise. It must. Okay, so I've reoriented some of the procedures. I think this is test number I already lost track of what, what test this is here we go uh no warning no countdown we're just going for it all right want to get some altitude and okay we got altitude we got altitude uh what's going on okay first of all our, uh, something didn't work right but there's always fun explosions and she's safe and sound she is safe and sound. Oh, there goes our hot air balloon. <laughs> That's okay. There you can see it in concept, except the engine's not lit. Something went wrong again in the, in the uh, takeoff. This is why you have a safe abort. Uh, statistics kind of show that aborts aren't needed in real life because usually by the time you need one, it's too late. But in this game, definitely safe if you want to keep your curveballs alive. Valentina's been a very, she's been very patient. Okay, so. I'm going to have, have to have another look at the stages here. So I'll probably either skip over this or speed this up as well. Okay, let's try it like this. I'm still trying to make sure that... Hey, I told you. I've been, I've been playing this game for like no time at all. I'm surprised. I can. Okay, here we go. Let's get altitude. I'm surprised I can even get something off the ground without... Well, I'm getting it off the pad without exploding. Well, that's because all my load is distributed evenly. Okay. Uh, separation. Oh my god, it exploded right over my head. All right. And let's wait to our kind of okay. Here we go. Parachutes out, and oh, and it blows the parachute off. And so let's abort, abort. Um, I think the <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I think the engine. I think I tried to light it up slow, but I think it just burned up the parachute. I'm gonna have to watch that back. I'll see in editing exactly what happened. Let's drift safely back to the ground. I'm gonna triple check my stages again. We're gonna give this one last try. One last try, guys, one last try. Everything just happened so fast that I'm trying to decide what's going wrong. But I'm confident that this time we can get everything to separate and at least see if this concept is even feasible whatsoever. 
All right, let's get some altitude. We're going to get some altitude. We're going to get up a few hundred, maybe thousand meters, whatever's required. And then we're going to let the ship, the inertia, bring the ship. Okay, this is, wow, that is, that is crazy every time. Okay. There, okay, parachute open. Okay. Ah. Dang it. Okay. One more try. I know what happened. I didn't let the ship start coming back down yet. Let's just revert to launch. Uh, I know what happened. Um, the ship is still had an upwards thrust factor, and I thought that was the, a different parachute. The, everything deployed correctly. I thought that was the bottom parachute, so let's get ready to go again here. It was still on an upwards thrust vector, and the parachute shot down the bottom. It was the correct parachute. Okay, this time we're going to go up, and we're going to... Yeah, yeah, All right, let's get some altitude. That is crazy. Okay, now let's let it start falling. Let's let it start falling a little bit. Because look how much upwards thrust we still have. Now we're gonna try to do this very daintily. Okay, now very slowly, let's apply throttle to the engine, just very slowly, very slowly. Oh, it blows it off, it just blows it off. Okay, abort, yeah, yeah, abort. Well, Valentina's still alive, that's good. Can't do it, guys. The, I, I apply just the slightest bit of throttle and it burnt out the parachute. Wouldn't that have been cool if it had actually worked? Yeah, it would have been so cool if it worked. I can't believe in all that explosion, death, and destruction, this whole area is like blackened earth now, and yet our pilot remains alive. <laughs> and she lands safely. <laughs> Guys, all right, thank you so much for watching. No curveballs were hurt in the making of this video. Valentina is fine. Guys, I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you all next time. Wave bye, Valentina. <laughs> See you guys in the next episode of Strange Experiments.